Hello there guys, my name is Case Shadowlongs the Bomb, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news from update where today we're gonna to be talking about track arriving on site. Yay! For Pops Under Pan's brand new Mac Extreme Spinning Coaster for the 2021 season, codenamed Time Traveller. And uh, we're gonna be talking all about this this brand new track that's arrived on site. Thanks to Plops of Theme Parks, the official Plops of Parks, um, for uh, credit goes to them for the image in this video. Uh, and we're also gonna be talking we're gonna talk about the track colour. Well, along with the white supports, what theme does that confirm for the ride? And also, you know, is there any changes in my predictions as to what name they could go for? So before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, cut the case bell so you never miss another theme park news and update. Whether it's long, whether it's small, I don't care. We're going to keep updating you on everything that's going on in theme parks. And um, make sure you keep viewing all the old videos. Some of them are out of date. Some of them, you know, they're still going on at this stage, but... Please go and watch them for nostalgia reasons. You know, we're nearly half a real, nearly a half a million views uh, across all the videos. So uh, it'd be really nice to get to half a million views uh, before the end of the year, and then try and reach one million views by the end of the next year. And uh, keep subscribing. We're nearly at 2,000 subscribers, so keep subbing. And uh, for now, guys, let's show you the image from Plops of Parks themselves on the arrival of track. So as you can see on your screen right now, fan dabby dozy. Look at that maroon track on site. Doesn't it give you a little bit of vibes towards maybe like a more purplish version, but it doesn't, doesn't it give you 10 looping coaster from England vibes? <laughs> uh, but I think the one that kind of reminds me of this more is Fly at Fantage Line. I'll talk more about that and the steampunk theme in a little bit. But as you can see on your screen, that is the image from the Plops of Theme Parks uh, social media of the arrival of this maroon track with the white supports, the blue on the supports, by the way, and people pointed that out in previous up videos is like a support thing it's not part of the actual thing so it will be just white supports it's not white and light blue it is just a support structure at the bottom uh, so it will be white supports and maroon track so there we go that that is the that's the image that's the image um you know this purpley maroonish track and the white supports i think it's going to go really well together uh, definitely a more lighter colour scheme than the Wallaby Belgium Mega Coaster, which is considered to be uh, another big pro. Well, it's considered to be one of the major competitions for Pops Under Pan next year for big new roller coasters in Europe and around the world. And, you know, I definitely think that this one's got a lighter colour scheme than the Wallaby Belgium one. Uh, but I think that with this one, and I spoke about it a little bit earlier, just, just earlier. Uh, fly at Fantageland. By the way, saw the Kulan experience, the off-ride, the on-ride, all the POVs and everything from this ride in the area. Looks beautiful. Absolute dream coaster. Can't wait to ride it. Uh, but looking at Fly and the colour scheme of that and the track gives me vibes of this a little bit. That gives me vibes of Fly a little bit. So, uh, And that's a steampunk themed ride. So I think the colour scheme pretty much confirms a steampunk theme for me. Uh, I think it very alone with the early code name of Robo Spinner. I think we were thinking maybe a futuristic theme, and now we've got the the steampunk concept art for the station months and months and months ago, about a year ago now, um, with the time traveler code name, uh, and then we've got the maroon trap, which gives me steampunk vibes. So I think they are going to go with the steampunk theme for this. Uh, it won't be called time traveler because that's just you know going a bit too overboard. But um, I think they are going to make a steampunk theme coaster and. You know, I think the the potential with this is massive, especially with the steampunk theme. I think that's one of the best things to go for for a coaster, in my opinion, because the steampunk theme delivers a whole lot more creative potential uh, with theming items. Even not not really spending on theming, but like just putting in the right level of detail on theming. So, this is definitely going to be a steampunk coaster for me. Won't be called Time Traveller, but I love the colour scheme of the track. I think it's going to be brilliant. As for it coming up on the site, I'm thinking maybe start of November they'll start putting the track up with the supports. And hopefully, track should be finished by the at the end of winter going into 2021. Then hopefully we'll get testing around March, April in my opinion. That's my prediction anyway. So, uh, not a long video today, but just a construction update on Pops Under Pan's brand new coaster. But, thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more. And for now, my name is Coaster Child. Keep living the coaster life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill-tastic day.